as far as our public transport business goes around the world, this is the number one priority for us from a marketing and sales perspective. The volume of people that come through is massive. The diversity of people that come through is massive. And for us, we really are able to generate a lot of interest, attraction, conversations, and meet old friends at the same time. So yeah, it, it's number one. I think for me, we're nine months on. So um, that's twice in 12 months, face to face for the second time. It's going really well. There's more international people here, I feel, than there was last June. I think that's probably a reflection of the release of the restrictions around the world. And that's bringing a different dynamic uh, from energy, conversations, ideas, innovations. So for us, face-to-face -face is the only way that true relationships are built. Weirdly, this year, the senior level people that are here seem to be uh, more prevalent than previous years. So we seem to be talking to people who can actually make decisions. Um, that's always good when you invest in an activity like this. And for us, if that can continue, that'll be a, a real benefit of this event. I think the buoyancy of our industry is pretty solid. Uh, public transport has a role to play in the future of, future of the world. I think for governments, it's going to become a bit of a challenge in terms of policy regulation, investment. Um, and I think with the younger generations coming through, they are going to be more demanding than ever that there are public transport network systems, ecosystems that deliver for their needs, not for the needs of the last century. We're pleased to bring as many of our team as we can and the conversations are invaluable, so very rewarding.